Hi, Katie. So uh, that's your view on Christian names. So what happens about the surnames then? Do you judge someone on their surname? That's sinister. Surnames? No, I mean, I don't really get involved in surnames. I don't really know many of the surnames of the children that my of the friends of my children, so I wouldn't judge them on their surnames. It's just you're on that very dangerous territory. You start to judge someone on their surname. Aren't well, as I said, I don't judge people on their surnames, but certainly I do make a very quick decision based on their first names. And there's a whole bunch of first names that I don't like. I don't like footballers' names. I don't like names after seasons of the year. I don't like geographical location names, celebrity names, things like Apple, things like you know, Tilly Fizz or Jolly Apple, whatever they've decided to call their crazy. Poppy. My child's called Poppy. Yes. It's a flower. It's a flower. A geographical not classical. seasonal. No, no, no. Not, they're not oh, like Latin. Latin. Poppy's quite You nice. should call her the Latin name for Poppy. That would be really posh. Interestingly, though, other people have criticised me for calling her Poppy because they say Poppy's an naughty name. So, so you like, parents you criticise each geographic other. Geographic stuff. Geographic. Oh, so Brooklyn or London. Your or child's called Indian. Yes, but you know, <laughs> that's because she's, it's not related to a location, that's because it's India related to a location. No. We're talking about education? India's a very, very lovely name. Very lovely.